What you'll need to check your squish clearance is uh, a ratchet and a spark plug socket, a piece of solder a few millimeters thick, a few inches long, and an accurate measuring tool. I use these uh, digital calipers that I got from Harbor Freight for about $10 on sale. What you're doing when you're checking the squish is actually trying to measure the distance between the top of the piston and the piston crown and the lowest point in the cylinder head which is usually on the squish band and right up against the edge against the cylinder wall because I'm not sure if you can see it but the squish band is usually machined into the head at an angle so the lowest point is right against that cylinder wall which is why it's important when you put your solder into the spark plug hole into the engine you want to make sure you do it in a way that you get it right up against that cylinder wall to get an accurate measurement and when you're setting up the squish it's not enough just to make sure that the piston doesn't contact the cylinder head when you're turning it over by hand or kicking it over you actually need to set it to uh, minimum clearances because the connecting rod will stretch at higher RPMs and then the piston will be coming closer to the head so if you've got just a tiny bit of clearance the piston might still hit the head when it gets to a higher RPM and for street motors you actually want to be a little wider squish clearances because uh, carbon buildup and things like that could affect it. Luckily a man named A. Graham Bell wrote a book called Two Stroke Performance Tuning and he laid out some uh, general guidelines for minimum squish clearances and uh, he says 50 to 80 cc engine should be 0.5 to 0.7 millimeters minimum squish clearance and 100 to 125 cc engine should be 0.6 to 0.9 millimeters squish clearance and again these are minimum squish clearances you want to have at least that much squish clearance just to account for rod stretch and leave a little extra room for carbon buildup on a lot of street engines at least with the large Minarellis that I'm used to working with a lot of times you'll end up with clearances a lot a lot looser than that a lot wider than that because otherwise uh, if you set say a 100 cc engine to 0.9 millimeter squish you may end up finding out that you've got way too much compression getting spark knock and things like that unless you open up the combustion chamber or take some other measures so a lot of times the squish clearance will end up being a lot wider than those minimums but it's very important to at least have those minimums to make sure you don't have problems when the engine starts revving higher you want to start out by removing the spark plug wire and spark plug and then you need to bend the solder in kind of an L shape like you see here that way you can maneuver it into the cylinder and get it right up against the edge of the cylinder wall like I showed you before and hopefully you've got enough left that you can easily hold it outside of the cylinder so get that in there and get it right up against the edge of the cylinder wall up at the top of the cylinder and hold on to it. Obviously make sure none of your fingers are in there. And then you'll need to either kick it over or use the electric starter to turn the engine over a few times. Okay, now you can remove the solder and you should see that it's been squished down there. Now that you've got your solder squished, you'll need to measure it at its thinnest point, which is usually right at the tip of it. and this one's coming out to about 0.94 millimeters once you know what your squish clearance is you may end up needing to adjust it uh, one of the easiest ways is obviously head gaskets you can use a thicker head gasket if you need more clearance for example uh, a lot of stock engines come with these copper gaskets that are about 0 0.25 0 0.3 millimeters thick usually and you can pick up these aftermarket aluminum ones that are about uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 millimeters thick, so you can gain a little bit there. If you need less clearance, you may be able to remove the gasket and use some uh, copper spray gasket. Just put it on the, uh, the surface of the cylinder head here, a couple coats. Uh, another way would be to choose a different head. A lot of times stock, the head will have built-in squish clearance. If you need less, you can file that down or machine that down, actually. And uh, you just have to be very careful that you make this surface true so there's no high and low spots in it. Or you can buy another 
cylinder head sometimes. They call them high compression heads usually. That has no lip there whatsoever. You may be able to find one that has more lip if you need more clearance. Another option would be to use additional base gaskets or you can get these thin aluminum timing gaskets they call them and in extreme cases you can make or buy these thick spacers usually those thick spacers are only going to be for uh, stroker crankshafts and things like that anytime you change the cylinder height with base gaskets you're going to need to check your port timing again uh, you can do that with a degree wheel, there's programs online that you can take the measurements and they'll calculate your port timings but uh, if you have specific timings in mind especially if you make much of a change it's very important to check your port timings to make sure they're still right because anytime you raise the cylinder you're gonna make the durations a little longer anytime you lower the cylinder for example if you took out the base gasket and tried to run a RTV or some kind of sealant down there then you would make the uh, the port timings a little less so it's important to check on those if you have a cylinder head with that uses an o-ring instead of the uh, the flat style head gaskets I don't really work with these much but you can mill out the o-ring area here and then use a standard head gasket you may be able to use an o-ring and a standard head gasket to create more clearance but your options are a little more limited it's going to be a little trickier with those than with the uh just the flat style head here that use the flat gaskets <laughs> 